We'll guide you through how to delete apps on your iPad. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So firstly, find the app which you want to go and delete. For example, I'll go and delete the GarageBand app here. Just remember that you are gonna be deleting the data on the app unless it's been backed up. But if you're sure, then go and place and hold your finger on the app like so, and we'll then get this list of options here. And you then need to go and click on remove app at the bottom here, like so. You then have three options, delete app, remove from home screen and cancel. If you click on remove from home screen, the app will just be hidden from your home screen. It will still be in your app library. To fully delete it, click on delete app. If you don't have the delete app option, then keep watching because I'll show you a fix for that in just a moment. So if you're sure, click on delete app and then you can confirm your decision by tapping delete again and the app will then be deleted off your iPad. So if you aren't getting that delete option to go and enable it, open up your settings and then what you need to do is go into screen time and then we need to go and change the restrictions. So click on content and privacy restrictions. And so what you can do is completely disable all restrictions on your iPad by switching this off at the top here. To do that, you may need to enter a passcode if it's been set up. So you may need to ask the person who set it up to do the passcode for you or they may just prefer to go and do the individual setting or you may want to do the individual setting. And to do that, you just go and click into iTunes and App Store purchases. Once again, you may need to enter a passcode to get in here. And then once you're in here, at the top here, we've got the option for deleting apps. So click there and make sure that it's set to allow. And once it's set to allow, you will then have the option when you go and hold your finger on an app to go and delete it. I'll click remove app and the delete app option will be there. If you found this useful, please leave a like.